So what's the topic today? Well, the topic today is confidence, weight loss, and how to eat properly throughout the day. Confidence, weight loss. Well, I think because most people that go to work, they want to lose weight, but they get tempted by the soda machine, by the snack machine, and maybe they just don't take what they're supposed to to work, and it you becomes, know, becomes difficult. Okay, you got. Let's 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 talk about a typical subject here. You got somebody that's overweight, right? Okay, let's say we have a. It's a guy. It's a male. He's 27, 28 years old. He has his typical lifestyle. Maybe he's 25. He lives at home with family. He's surrounded by bad examples of what a diet should be. And uh, he has no physical activity on a daily basis. He doesn't hit the gym. Maybe this guy is like 24, pushing 25% body fat. And, and he's thinking to himself, can I become like that guy? Can I, can I, can I achieve that goal where I'm, that, I'm not the fat guy anymore? I'm not that guy anymore, no matter what. What can get him out from the situation that he's in and bring him somewhere closer to where he wants to be? His mental image of what he thinks is comfortable for him, of where he needs to be in life. That's... That's the question. Well, I think because there's... it's all subjective. Well, you know, the, I think that's where where people are making all their money. These weight loss shows. Yeah, because they're selling something to somebody. They're selling a gimmick, an idea, a belief, and people are buying it. Uh, we have to we have to know that this is this is not something we can buy. This is something inside of yourself that you have to put yourself towards doing. It's 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 getting the confidence to start making those subtle changes that make a difference in the next two or three weeks or a couple months. So leading up to that, when you first get the idea, it's the, the amount of misinformation, with the amount of misinformation around you on what is healthy, it's almost already too late. Well, I, I, you, I, I get that, but here's, here's the thing. Most health food people feel doesn't taste good doesn't taste good. Well, you've got to omit sugars, you've got to omit fats. No, you don't, have to, you don't have to omit, omit fats. You don't have, I mean, yeah, you don't have to omit, omit fats. You have to cut the sugar. The sugar is what's doing it. Yeah, but sugar, how do, sugars, sugar is what's doing well, it. How do you resist that bag of chips, man? Easy. How do you, you resist a, you, that? If you're, and this is, this, is, this is where it comes down to setting yourself up for failure. If you're not eating complete meals through the day, set aside, you're not, you don't wake up and eat and say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat breakfast. And then four to five hours later, I'm going to have another meal planned, another meal that I can eat that's going to be healthy for me. And then four to five hours after that, you have another meal that's healthy for you. And four to five hours after that, you have another meal that's healthy for you. I don't give a shit who you are. You're not going to get fat because the thing is you're always keeping yourself content with food. What's the point? Now you want to talk about taste. Taste taste is subjective. Taste is a preference. Everybody has to find what they like. But damn it, you're not going to get away with eating sugar every day. It just seems like a lot of work. It's not a lot of work. It's what your it's what your life should be. If you want to if you want to eat and and have food readily available to you that that that's uh that's healthy for you, you need to you need to take action in doing that. You need to start doing that because if you don't, then you're setting yourself up for failure. Then you're setting up for yourself for being that person in the, in the middle of the day saying, damn, I don't have anything to eat. Oh man, I got to go to McDonald's. And then you go to McDonald's and then you, you get a fucking Big Mac or whatever the hell you eat at McDonald's. And then later you feel like shit and you know you're off your diet. Now you've lost confidence and you don't give a fuck anymore. That's your whole point now. I don't give a shit anymore. I already fucked up today. I might as well fuck up for the rest of the day. So what are you going to do now? Now when you get home, you're going to have fucking tacos. <laughs> you know? I mean, come on. You don't think, you, oh, you, it's my friend's birthday today. I got to have a slice of cake. You don't need a fucking slice of cake. If you want to achieve, nobody, nobody, no, nobody achieved any type of greatness eating whatever they wanted to eat, sleeping whenever they wanted to sleep, 
working out whenever they felt like they needed to work out. People made sacrifices in their life and sacrificed time to get where they wanted to go. And everybody has to start a different starting point. And if you're and if you're 25% body fat, buddy, you got your own fucking ass to blame. That's about it. That's pretty harsh. Yeah, it is harsh. And it's the way it is. But you got to wake up to the reality of that and say, this is my, this is, I, I am a product of what I eat. I am a product of my own time. I am a product of what, of, of my own lifestyle. This is where I'm starting from. Be humble. I'm okay with that. Everybody, I'm okay with somebody who's 25% body fat. If they have the idea that they, that they wa don't want to be a fat fuck anymore and they want to lose weight and they want to get in shape, hey, I'm all for that and I respect that and I, and, I, and I admire that and I admonish that and I think people should be doing that because it's not something that's unachievable. It's not something that you can't do. You can do that in a, in a reasonable amount of time. Okay, but what about the doctor who works 13 hours a day, the stockbroker, the nurse, the line worker. What, you, they, you work 13 hours a day but you don't have time to eat? Are you trying to tell me you don't have time to eat? If you don't have time to eat, you're going to die. You have, I'm sure any of these, anybody can fuck, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. It's not about, and fuck, if you're a stockbroker and you're, and you're overweight, you're probably doing something, you're not making very much money anyway. The point Those of it is, move around more than I do. The, the point of it is, is that what, it seems like a lot of work to prepare the meal. So you've got to have a meal oh, in no, the no, morning, no, no, a meal no, 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 no. Let's go back every to, let, four let's hours go, you have a meal. Let's where, go back where, to the example. Let's where, go back to the example where I left off. Let's go back in time where that one guy in midday didn't have anything to eat and he went to McDonald's. How about that guy? How about him? How about that guy? Let's talk about that let's guy. Let's talk about that guy. What if he went to McDonald's and he, and he went to McDonald's with the idea that I'm not going to consume any sugars? I'm not going to consume any carbohydrates. Is that possible in McDonald's? Oh, fuck yes, it's possible. It's, it's possible wherever you go. They're, they're, they're businesses and institutions. They're going to serve you whatever they can to try to make your money. What would you eat at McDonald's? What would I eat at McDonald's? Um, three round eggs. Give me three, three round eggs. Give me, uh, give me a grilled chicken sandwich or just a grilled chicken without the bun on a bed of lettuce. Right. They have salads with a vinaigrette. No sugar. Give me an iced coffee. Give me an iced coffee with uh, with one cream in it, a couple Splendas, and a shot of espresso. This is the fucking time that we live in nowadays. There is no excuse for going to McDonald's and eating a Big Mac just because you felt like you didn't have time for anything to eat. No, no, I don't want to bother the people at McDonald's to make my food the way I want them to. Oh, I want a Big Mac, <laughs> you fat fuck. No. <laughs> There's reasons for everything. You have to think, why did I start this? Because I don't want to look the way I look right now. I want to look like that guy. I want to look like that image of me that I have in the mirror that says, shit, he's handsome. Everybody has the confidence. Everybody has the, the willpower and the tools to do it. But you got to follow through. Because you make one, one misstep, it makes the second misstep very easy. And then it makes it really easy to sit down and wait and wait till next week. I'll start it again tomorrow. So I'll start it again next week. I'll start it again next where month. Would Nobody you... ever got anything done waiting. Okay, but where should they start? Let they wait. Let they so they start wake in, up. You start, they wake up in the morning. You start from your home. Okay. You start from your home because nobody can. Not everybody can see you when you're in your home. That's 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 important. You need to think about what's going to influence you and your surroundings. You're at home now. Oh, I'm at home. Everybody who I told is on a diet. Everybody, I told everybody I'm on a diet, but you know what? They're not here right now. I can have a slice of cake. I can have some ice cream. I can have some of those chips. I can have a bowl of cereal with a little bit of sugar in it. Yeah. But it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. I like it. Oh, man, I'll have like five bananas. Bananas are okay. You know, stuff, because just because nobody's around, the diet hasn't stopped, and you need to think about the influences that are around you. If every time you wake up in the morning, you smell pancakes, because somebody in your house is cooking pancakes, it's going to make things a little harder. You need to take that into consideration. So you may have to be more alert and more conscious to what your decisions are. That's where the difficulties can start for most people. Because we're, we're going to think about, you know, okay, if there's somebody in the kitchen cooking pancakes in the morning, and I'm a sucker for pancakes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a sucker for pancakes. I can eat. I can, I'll wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and make pancakes myself. I mean, that's, that's pretty bad. <sighs> Sad to say, you have to be ready for that. 
and be ready to sit down at a table with other people who are eating food that you like more than the food that you're eating. Because you know that that sacrifice is more important to you and that's why it's more important for you to find the food that you're going to enjoy just as much as they're going to enjoy without, this, without having to deal with the after effects of eating garbage. But doesn't that take some type of, well obviously willpower, but you know, adjusting your taste buds to a new type of uh, food, getting used to it, I mean... Yeah, 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 it does. It does. What happens when you feel weak? <laughs> what happens when you feel weak? Why would you feel weak? Well, hungry. Hungry for sweets. Hungry for carbs. Hungry. That's, that's, that's called dealing. Now, now we've crossed the boundary from dieting to dealing with addiction. Because if, if somebody's having those type of... If somebody's having those type of reactions, now we're, not, we're no longer dieting. We're dealing with addiction. And I think... This is a lot. Of, this is probably another big reason why a lot of diets fail, and a lot of people end up losing weight and then gaining it all back, or yo-yo dieting. Um, this is one of the main topics that, you know that you have to look at because you're addressing a different issue now. This is no longer your, uh, changing a diet, your dietary needs. This is this is dealing with addiction, and what the addiction is. The addiction most of the time is being addicted to sugar, and and the, the euphoric reaction that you get when you eat it. And a lot of the other things that are involved with that, um, the insulin release and the tired feeling that you really like because you now you're all sleepy. So when we approach it from that perspective and we say we're dealing with an addiction now, right? Then we understand that we have to follow the same rules that addicts have to follow. That's interesting. So if I know for a fact that, that cereal, Raisin Bran, is 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 I'm I, I cannot pass up the idea of eat, waking up or just getting up from not I didn't sleep yet and then I'm laying in bed and then I'm getting up and making myself a bowl of raisin bran in the middle of the night. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, it's wonderful. It's great. Oatmeal cookies. How about oatmeal cookies? And then you go right up, you go right back upstairs and now you've created an instant sleep pill for yourself and you're all happy and you just ate all your all your sugars and your carbs <laughs> and you just fall right to sleep because that's a drug reaction. Yeah. That's drugs. You're using it as drugs. And regardless of how you cut it, it's going to have a negative effect on you and your life. And, and what's the negative effect? The negative effect is being overweight, um, you know, uh, type 2 diabetes, um, all kinds of health issues, high blood pressure, and, and many, 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 many other things that happen when you eat lots of sugar. So um, would you say a bag of chips is sugar? I would say a bag of chips is an unnatural, uh, not unnatural, but yeah, unnatural, unnatural starchy, high glycemic, medium, medium high glycemic carbohydrate that could possibly, that could cause weight gain uh, just because of the amount of fat in conjunction with the amount of carbohydrates processing both of those at the same time. The body, your body, the body in question that's doing that, if it's not already overweight, would technically uh, be screwing themselves over. You know, so yes, I'd say that's pretty damn bad. So avoid all the good stuff. Don't eat those fucking Doritos. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Try to pass that one up. Thanks. Mm. You're welcome.